I think I should begin with the introductions. I am Agnira, as you know, and I met with an accident around exactly two months and two, three days back, 8th of April in Delhi. A qu quiet day, sunny at that, and beggars were sitting on the side of the road, as usual, Mickey Mouse to be one of them. The roads were pretty big, large, and there were no potholes. There was a corner, though this corner, and there was one, one plus charger to the end of the road. I mean, a piece of rock. <sighs> Along came a rider. I was sitting at the back. We were doing pretty much like around 60 and 70, and then came the corner in front of us. We didn't know what to do because he was riding and we went ahead he took the corner but then the one plus charger was in the way and BAM we crashed into it I went away flying and fell on my, my back my friend broke a clavicle his left clavicle he's still healing right now he's gonna be fine I on the other hand didn't realize what was wrong with me on the first day it took me around a week to realize what exactly went wrong with my leg it was a bucket handle tear and my leg actually locked in this position and it wouldn't extend it wouldn't flex anymore so I kind of freaked out I went to a doctor my sister took me to a doctor and then uh, he asked me to get an MRI done so after an MRI it was pretty much sure that it was a bucket handle tear and I was suggested to undergo a surgery which would cost me around 3 lakhs as soon as possible. But I wasn't convinced because within 2-3 days of the leg locking up, it released. I could walk again, although limping, but I could walk. And in the time period where my leg was locked up, I was literally limping. I had a crutch in my hand, a knee brace on my knees and I would walk like that and have nightmarish dreams of things like not being able to run ever again, thinking about those random stuff, maybe never run and run into the horizon, something like that, never ride again, biggest fear, never do many things which I thought would never fall into danger ever but then they did right they did so the first thing first rule of thumb never let even your close friends ride your bike if you're not Samrat if you're not Pratik if you're not my dad if you're not my sister if you're not my mom if you're not anyone from my closest family I'm sorry if you ever ask me for my bike I'm just gonna say no and if you ever ride my bike behind my back I'll kill you okay I have no idea how it healed I was continuously on anti-inflammatory drugs for the first 15 16 days and then I realized when a doctor told me you shouldn't be having so many drugs like that because that's just gonna decrease the inflammation in your knees and if there is no inflammation in your knees, maybe the healing process wouldn't work. What you actually need is more play of the synovial fluid within your joints. Now remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm a doctor, maybe a PhD doctor, but not a doctor doctor. I don't heal people. I just understand things. I just do my research and duty, nothing like that. So yes, when a doctor told me, you should get more play of your sinovial fluid now that you can walk after your joint is cleared up. I started doing some exercises. I went to a physiotherapist and then I started working out. What I started was with simple cycling when I was laying down on my back and then I added small exercises to my regime for my upper body, for my legs, everything like that and slowly I could walk without the crutch again within a week. I knew the results. I could see the results in front of me. I could dream again, things like that. 
I came back home and I kept doing my exercises every day, every day without fail. I put on weights on my legs, I put on weights on my knees, I used to do my exercises every day. And those exercises are very easily available all over the internet. They're very easy exercises, but doing them properly, periodically, every day as a habit is that what gave me success, the success you're seeing right now. So in the meantime, I met a friend of mine and we did a trek together. She wasn't very keen on the part that I would make it, but then we both made it very well. And I love the part where we could both go to the end point and come back successfully. Beautiful sunset with a beautiful person. <laughs> we check high hai, gire to dono hi beautiful. Abhi bhi dono hi beautiful, see? That's okay. the best part about this thing. Video to hoche. Ah, yes, video to hoche. Those were the days with her where I first rode a two wheeler after a month or more of break. I couldn't ride anything because I was limping. Dude, I was limping. So I couldn't do anything. Right now, I'm riding. I am jogging as a part of my exercises. I'm picking up weights. I'm doing everything. I'm climbing the stairs like there's nothing wrong. Yes, sometimes. I'm afraid that I might lock my joint again because that's what a bucket handle tear does, right? It just locks up your knee randomly. But then people who have had bucket handle tears would know that they lock up randomly. I haven't had one lock after the original lock which happened on the 15th of April. It never locked up again. I'm positive that it might never lock up again and that I do not have to spend 3 lakhs for mending this baby because I'm exercising every day daily I think that will help so the key to the whole thing right now is hope willpower support from your family and your near and dear ones and never give up the thing here is that if you want something you're gonna have to work for it I could have just given up and given in to the whole situation and told my family yes I would go in for a surgery but then I wanted to do it myself I had a slithering of hope that I would make it without the surgery and yes the rigorous exercises the help from my family from my near and dear ones that small trek we did everything added on to my willpower i knew i wouldn't break down i'm still not broken down i'm still not convinced that i need the surgery because i can do everything right now and it's been two months three days exactly so any of you people out there with a bucket handle tear who are still being forced to make a choice and go for a surgery i would say i'm not a doctor remember but then i would say take your time understand what your limits are maybe do some exercises get some days with yourself understand if your leg is healing if not of course go for surgery but then if you're like me if you're lucky if you're exercising and the exercises are helping you maybe your surgery is not the best option because that's how you would retain everything your mom gave to you right and you never want to throw away what your mama gave you right and I'm going to wish you goodbye now. Bye. Take care.